Hello all. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to write discussion for your research and how to arrange your references that is referencing for your research. I myself, Dr. D. Rock Brito, Associate Professor in Community Medicine. This is my session content. I will be having this session discussed under the following headings. I'll be dealing with the importance of discussion in research, followed by the components of research, thereby you will get an idea about how to write discussion and within the first 10 minutes, then in the next 20 minutes, we will be dealing with the importance and need for referencing while you are preparing your manuscript for your research. And we will be mentioning about different types of re referencing. Vancouver type of referencing in detail will be dealt for you because many of the theses uh, will be asked in Vancouver format only. So we will be discussing about Vancouver type of referencing in detail and we will be adding a note on plagiarism at the end of the session. So uh, before going to my topic discussion, I want you all get oriented to the basic anatomy of a scientific paper or any research which will be written in IMRAD format that is IMRD. This is the basic skeleton of any research you will have an uh, introduction for I and methodology for M, results for R and D for discussion. So in introduction, what we will do is we will be uh, telling the uh, readers what is already known about this topic and what is the understanding and current knowledge about this topic. Then we will derive the what are all the gaps in that current existing knowledge and uh, we are going to fill that knowledge and how are we going to fill that knowledge will become your rationale or the purpose and thereby you will derive your hypothesis. Then in methodology, specifically, you will tell what you are going to do and in results, what you get out of your study, that will be in results. Then in discussion, how your results are going to fill the gaps which you have mentioned in the introduction. That will be there in the discussion, followed by conclusion. What does this research mean for the scientific community to take the research forward? So that is the conclusion. In introduction, we have mentioned about the current knowledge and gaps of the research. In discussion, our prime objective in discussion is to fill the gap through our results. So that is, in other words, it is amalgamating your results uh, into the current existing results. First, you will have the consolidation or summary of the important results. I repeat, it is the consolidation or the summary of the important results. It is not the repeat of the results. So you need not have to repeat the results again. You need to have a consolidation or summary what you have got in your uh, results. So that is what is the answer to your research question. Specifically, you can mention and a short notes about your methodology, what you have done. And you have to interpret that study results. So you need to tell what that study result mean. Is it high or low? So what is that in interpretation of that study results? then you need to tell about the implications or significance of that study results. That is, why do the results matter for others? So that you need to explain. Then this, you need to have a comparison with other studies, which means what other study results are uh, saying that you need to compare with your own uh, study results. Then we will be observing the reasons for a difference. You may have a similar results uh, in spite of having a different methodology or directly you can have a uh, different results. So you need to up, compare and find out the reasons for the difference. Then ultimately a single line, as I mentioned in the first slide, what you are supposed to do is to fill the gap or try to fill the gap in the existing literature and possible future direction of the study that you need to mention. So I have filled the gap through my study and there are still existing some gaps, so that need to be filled. So that is the single important thing in uh, discussion. Then we need to mention about the possible bias in our study. Bias, the difference between the bias and the error is, error occurs randomly in all direction. It will not mislead us. 
whereas the bias occurs in one specific direction systematically it is otherwise called a systematic error and it will mislead us so you need to identify the potential bias in our research and also we need to identify the limitations of the research so what and all uh, are the limitations of our research and many of the times we will be exploring so many bias and limitations of our own study and forget to mention about the strength of the study so you need to tell how your study is superior to other studies comparing to other studies how your study is superior that is the strength of the study then finally you will have a recommendation recommendation may be for the individual patient or may be for the group of doctors uh, treating doctors or may be the policy makers or may be the scientific community for future research so all these comes under the discussion so these are all the headings which needs to be done in discussion so how to write a discussion so i will divide it into three paragraphs that is introductory paragraph intermediate paragraph and concluding paragraph the basic rule about discussion is that we will start from a narrow point to a broad point as against your introduction we start from a broad point to a narrow point so the in the beginning part the, uh, the first section of the discussion the answers of the research question will be provided that is typically your consolidation of the study findings will be there then uh, in the middle part there will be a comparison with the previous works interpretation of the results as i mentioned in the previous slide the significance of the results will be mentioned then the reasons for the difference will be explored then the strength and limitations of the study will be uh, mentioned so at the end of the discussion part we will have a conclusion uh, say about this uh, study and the significance of the study to fill the gap in the field of the study so that is the ultimate flow of the discussion so many of the times in discussion people will uh, mention all the points but miss the flow so this flow should should not be missed so that is about the discussion so why discussion is challenging because uh, it demonstrates that the researcher is able to critically think about the issue so you need to critically think about the issue that is the major challenge about this discussion secondly you need to give a creative solutions to the problems for that you need to have a proper understanding of the research problem so these three things are essential that is you need to understand the problem clearly then you need to think critically then you need to give a creative solutions to the problems that is why discussion are very much challenging if you do any research superficially you are not involving yourself and you are not understanding the research then you you will fail in the first step only then secondly after understanding you need to apply your critical uh, thinking mind and to get the creative solutions to the problem so that that is why your discussion is challenging we are coming to the end of the discussion part so for that we have the checklist for discussion i have made a checklist for discussion you have to go through this checklist before you write any discussion so first i have concisely summarized the most important findings this is the consolidation or summary of the results i have discussed and interpreted the results in relation to my research question then i have cited relevant literature to show how my results fit into the study i have clearly explained the significance of my results i have discussed the reasons for difference in the results i have stated the potential bias of my results i have acknowledged and evaluated the strengths and limitations of my research i have made relevant recommendations for further research or action so all this i have done means i have completed my discussion so this is a pro tip not only for writing discussion for manuscript uh, writing so you can go to this equator network dot org which is nothing but you are enhancing the quality and transparency of health research this is a uk based initiative where in this website they will have manuscript guidelines based on the study designs so you can download the guidelines specific to the study design under which you can look at the each segment discussion or introduction methodology so they will give a checklist for what and all essentially needs to be done so that you can look at 
uh, this site this will be immensely help uh, when you are uh, preparing a manuscript this is specific to the study design if it is a randomized control trial you need to go into this randomized control trial if it is an observational study strobe guidelines will be there so for randomized control trial consort guidelines will be there for manuscript writing so you can look into it and you can do that this is about the discussion